that the name Ojokoro, as popularly called, was derived from the saying Ojokole Rokonibe, which literally means only the brave can farm. The bravery of men and women domiciled within the community explains the many human-oriented projects that spread across the four corners of the area. Her growing community located along Lagos Abelkota Expressway, Ojokoro, is under Ikeja Division, one of the areas that made up the five divisions of Lagos State long before it was grouped into Ifako Ijai local government area. Before now, Ojokoro epitomized what enough a community should be. But with efforts put in place by the over 100 registered community development associations, the narrative has changed. From building bridges, to grading of roads, constructing palaces, to establishing community hall, the community development associations are given respite to residents. Little wonder the state government identify with these agents of change during the recent disbursement of grants to CDAs to aid community projects. From the 500 million grants given to 275 CDAs, Ojokoro Low Cost Estate Resident Association, or LERA, went home with a whooping sum of 5 million naira. Today's occasion is historic. We are presenting financial support to the tune of 500 million naira. <clears throat> to the various 274 community development associations, ranging from over 1 million to 10 million, to enable them complete their various software projects which have been executed to an appreciable level. So, how did they intend to justify it the money? Olera community leaders tells us how the fortune of the community will change when multi-purpose community hall on the construction is completed and commissioned for use. From the inception, what we normally used to do, there's, a, there's, a, there's an open field further from where we are right now. It's, it's under high tension. And people have, they, they carry out their events, all their parties and everything there. And we know it's unsafe because it's under high tension. And then we looked at the general like that. What we had in mind before was just to build a community hall, normal community hall, small setting for just a few people. But we decided to say, okay, how is Ulira even generating revenue? these days, which is, uh, they, they bring in meager amount of revenue. So we say, okay, let's generate more revenue by actually turning this, in, instead of saying a hall, let's build an event center where we can have large amount of people to come in and do their celebrations and we make revenue from that. Seated on 800 square meter, a 750 seat capacity auction modern hall on a one and a half plot of land which changed the story of this organized resident association. Lagos community updates gathered that before now, social activities was a cumbersome task for the 150 blocks of flats within the CDA. This event center is sitting on 800 square meters, which is one and a half plots of land. The condition is the old one you can see here now. But we've been able to come up with this through the grant given to us by the state government. Prior to the commencement of the ongoing event center, the CD executive have embarked on other projects like disbursement of free GCE firms to indigent students within this community, amongst many others. We've been able to impart on our children through GCE, through JAMP and other things that we really lift their, their spirit. We've been able to do that and we continue to do that by the grace of God. Community members expressed the gratitude to the state governor and noted that his action has enhanced the people's trust in today's government. I want to appreciate Governor Akin Miyambo Day for really doing that. People, initially we were thinking those things would not come to pass, 
But thank God he promised and fulfilled that promise. The day the grant was being given, distributed, we were so happy that it wasn't just an ordinary promise. It was promise fulfilled. And um, it has gone a long way in assisting our CDAs in their self-help projects. It was just like uh, having something you never expected coming your way. It has changed our perception, our thinking, and our belief in the government of the day. Ever since the administration of uh, Governor Akil Mambo, they came in and promised us a grant, which we eventually received. That gives us more hope, that gives us more confidence in the government. And ever since we've been you know, showcased to the government, I've been, we've been able to utilize the fund in a way that it pleases our community. And we hope that um, after this, we will receive more funds from the government in order to complete the project and even to carry out more projects within the community to help the residents. Normally when government speaks, people just go back and say they've just set their own. We will see what they will do. Though we know we are not going to do anything, but this time around it's like we are, I mean, we are living proof that when government says something, they get it done. And this is just like, this is an evidence of what we are talking about. Music